DJ Pro AI 2022 recap. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, we're going to talk about all the amazing features that we got in 2022. 2022 was the biggest year for DJ Pro AI and DJing with the iPad in general. We got a huge update with version 4. We got some great controllers. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the features that we got in 2022 in case you forgot or you missed them and show you how to use them and where to find them. And we're starting right now. All right. So first of all, let's go to our settings. So here inside settings. So one, the first thing that you will notice is this first slot over here, which is audio device settings. This is brand new for 2022 and it really changed the game because we were able to add a booth monitor and a microphone. So when you have a controller plugged in, you could switch the output from uh, the main output or from the headphones, or if there's a different output, you could put it as a booth monitor, which could help you with, with pre-queuing and you could have a speaker pointing towards you and not the crowd. So you could hear all the frequencies and be more accurate with your beat matching. And it was a big feature that was missing that all almost all the other DJ software has. And now we have the ability, you don't even, you could use it with any controller. Let's say you don't wanna use your headphones, you could use that booth monitor and you could set it to the headphone output. So it is makes it really versatile and it's awesome. So we got booth and then we also have microphone. This was one thing that we didn't have, and, but now we do. So if you have an adapter like this, you could use USB microphones. If your controller has microphone input, you could use you could use this setting. One thing that I'm hoping that they add in 2023 is the ability to add effects to your voice. Maybe an echo or a reverb to make you sound a little bit more dramatic and more professional would be awesome. So I'm hoping for that. But for now, this is what we get. You could also switch from mixer mode internal and external. Now let's go back to the settings. Another huge thing that made that really was the turning point from this to be a professional software is DVS. Now you could DJ with DJ Pro AI on your iPad or even on your iPhone with DVS. That means if you got real records, you could be DJing with real turntables and a mixer using the DJ Pro AI app. This is amazing. Unfortunately, I do not have it, uh, all that equipment. It's kind of expensive and I did not get to try it out, but I did watch a lot of videos and a lot of professional DJs are saying it works great. And I, it's so exciting to see DJ Pro becoming more of a professional and more of a main DJ software for weddings and more professional events. And it's really exciting and I can't wait to see what they add in 2023. So settings, um, the next thing that we got was um, anything in here. Nope, we got library. <laughs> Appearance. So the biggest change was with the jog wheels. So first of all, we got a brand new sec. Well, not a brand new section, but they renamed it and improved upon it. And that is over here in pro mode. It used to be two deck mode. So it was classic and then two deck, but they changed it to pro mode and gave us all these amazing features. So now we go to pro mode and as you could see these jog wheels, now we could see the BPM, how much time is left in the song, how much we changed the BPM by percentages. And then if we go back over here to our settings, go back to settings, appearance, jog wheels, we have three different options. So whichever option is more ideal to your style of DJing, they got the compact one, which is dark, it's a little bit easier on the eyes. They got compact light. If you're in a darker environment and you wanna have a better view, you could set it on this. And then the one I, I use is extended because I like to scratch with these jog wheels and it gives you a little bit more surface area to be more accurate with your scratches. All right. What other settings did they give us? Advanced, no. All right, moving right along, we got a whole bunch of new effects. So the effects that we had originally were good. They gave us a lot of them, 
but they added so much more. So we got in the essentials, they gave us an alarm, which is pretty cool. They gave us more, um, they gave us more echo outs. We have echo out press, echo out, echo verb out, reverb out, tape echo. I made videos on all of these sections of the, uh, of the new effects, if you guys want to check that out. But if just taking a quick look, I think this Marco up is brand new. There's a blur, riser, jet stream, all these effects. It's would take you so long to test them all out, which I did. And it's so exciting to see. And hopefully I hope they add more. And then you could also change these effects from just the deck to drums, harmonics, and vocals. So it gives us more control when we're using Neuro Mix as Neuro Mix becomes more popular. Next thing that we have is down here. They gave us pitch cues. So now we could pitch up and down our cues. The A really cool thing that they added with the cues is now they are color coded. So when you set a cue and you press edit, you can change the color. This is really good for preparing your tracks. I do green on when I'm gonna start the track, red on when I'm gonna stop the track. And the coolest part is if you have a controller with RGB color pads, it will match what is on the app. So you could see your colors on your controller. And I just think that's really, really cool. And it's really helpful. They gave us, I think we already had Slice. Um, let's see, in in the looper, nothing really that new there. Yeah, so in the looper, we have manual, we have saved, and then there's the bounce, which is kind of like a stutter. But also, something that's kind of hidden is if you press this down arrow, we can... We now have a stutter pad, which is really cool. And then if we go back over here to our cues, and this is hidden too, we press slice, and then now there is a drop down menu. So be, if you're looking for something that you, that was there before and you can't see it anymore, look for these drop down menus, because that's how they did it. There's a drop down menu, and then we can go to skip. This is how you could set your start and stop modes in auto mix, and you could also uh, skip back however many beats you want all the way up to 64 and then all the way down to 132. So that really helps you if you want to match your mixes when you're going to start, when you're going to start your mix, when you're going to stop your mix. It's really helpful. All right. And then EQs are about the same. Neuro mix, you could, you might've been able to do this before, but you could change it from tonal to acapellas and tonal, which is pretty cool. Bass and melodic, you get up to four bands in the Nero mix, which is really cool. Um, library, if we go back to classic mode and go to our library, something that they, they added was this drop down menu over here where there's Q, you could, you could get to your history and then you could get to auto mix. Another thing that they did was they made auto mix so much easier to start. So from any screen, you could just press over here and you're in auto mix. So we're going to select the playlist. So now we're in an auto mix. And then to get out of the auto mix, all we have to do is press stop. That made it so much easier to smoothly go from a regular manual mix into an auto mix and then back in back out making it more versatile and making auto mix so much easier to use and m making you more likely to use it so if you guys uh let me know in the comments uh your favorite features for 2022 and if you found value in this video subscribe to the channel and give this video a like